student ask a question, inform me. Tell me if the class is filled, which class I can attend, whether I have to register. Educate me. Teach me how I select another class. Advise me. Maybe I can take the class in another school in CUNY. Register me, either at Lehman or another college if, uh, of CUNY if the course is available to me. And to utilize the big data um, and also produce the application for the users to follow up on the school's data on enrollment, on revenue, also financial aid, and um, the admission data. So we are using the regression analytical tool to predict uh, possible outcomes in terms of uh, future enrollment, um, uh, retention, uh, attrition, uh, all, and also graduation rates. Uh, my colleagues and I are going to be discussing resources and tools that can assist students with projects that involve quantitative reasoning. We have many uh, resources today thanks to technology, the web, and to open government data. In my presentation, I'll set the context for this increase in open civic data and highlight some New York City open data tools that we share with Lehman students. So this is an interactive health data tool, very user-friendly by their own admission, but I will second that opinion. And there are a variety of surveys available, and the one used most frequently for classes are the community health surveys. And basically what we do here is we run a faculty development program over the course of the year, which meets monthly. And as part of that faculty development program, we teach faculty strategies for effective quantitative re reasoning instruction. And the, the exemplary course program is something that was started by Blackboard, um, which is the online tool that we use here at Lehman. And I got interested in this for several reasons. Um, one is, as Marcy mentioned earlier, nursing is starting an, a completely online RN to BSN program. And the other is, um, I had the opportunity to work with a great program called the New York Connect program at Hunter College. I have been working with Madeline and with Deborah on a flipped classroom project this semester that Madeline has been heading up. Um, so we're going to talk today about what the flipped classroom is. Um, and then we're going to present you with our project. In a flipped class, that first exposure to content happens before the class meets. Students prepare for class time by doing some kind of coverage activity. For example, by watching a lecture video created by their teacher or created by someone else, or by completing a reading assignment. During class, students work on applying the key concepts or ideas they covered in their out-of-class work. They interact with their peers and their instructors during class time. The cycle completes when, after class, students use that feedback gained during class time to further their learning by reviewing concepts they found difficult, confusing, or interesting. Uh, one of the reasons that my particular class was ideal for this experiment is that I had two sections of the same business management course, which allowed us to, to create a control group and an experimental group. Here's some of the outcome, and I think that it's pretty striking, actually. Um, students that were in the flipped classroom showed better performance in finding and submitting journal articles. They had an average, this was the average grade that they received for this part of the assignment. So under the flipped classroom, that experimental group got a 95 average versus a 65. So that's a pretty striking difference. In previous semesters, I would go into this business management class do the lecture and demo, the students would be interested, they sometimes would ask questions, but then um, a week later I get a lot of questions from the students coming into the library, which was good, um, we wanted them to do that, but the questions revealed to me that um, we were really starting from scratch all over again. I think that um, active learning is the operative word in the flipped classroom concept. And so it lends itself to teaching complex concepts. We started our analytics journey um, about four years ago. 
and we use uh, an Oracle tool. And today, there are so many other analytics tools that are available that are not IT-centric, but user-centric. And so if we were starting today, we would potentially opt for looking at some, some of these other tools that are out there. So if there's any way we can help any of the member institutions at HETS with our experience um, to learn more um, and have our own webinar uh, specifically with you, we'd be happy to do that. So please let us know.